Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jose Place here, and today I will be giving my thoughts on Destiny 2, the PC version. Uh, first, I'm going to be talking about the good things that the game has to offer, and I will be ending it with the bad. So let's get started with the good things that the game has to offer. The game has amazing looking graphics and scenery. The planets look and feel massive when they're really not that big. Graphics and attention to details in many areas is amazing, especially when you have texture settings on the highest options. Performance on the game tends to be pretty good, except the new update kind of broke it. I will talk more about it in the butt part of the video. But performance tends to be good if you have a mid-high-end system like mine's. I currently sit at around 150 FPS average with a i7 7700K overclock to 5 GHz and a GTX 1070 that is not overclocked because we have noticed the game crashes when you have an overclock car. As for PvP, I'm having, having a lot of fun playing it. Um, I have actually played more PvP in Destiny 2 than I ever did in Destiny 1. Some weapons are really good, especially hand cannons and scout rifles. There are a lot of things I wish were different that I will go over in the bad part of the video. And that's pretty much all I could think of that are uh, things that I really enjoy about the game. Um, stay tuned and we'll go over the bad things I have found in the game. The bad things about the game. Now, there's probably more bad things than good about the game. So let's get started with all the things I believe are bad things. In as I said before with performance, um, it's all good until the recent update, the 1.06.1 update. Um, it was meant to fix uh, performance on PC, but it actually made it worse to the point where I lost an average of 20 FPS. And they are a lot of micro starters that happen all the time in PvE and PvP, which is annoying because you're trying to get precision shots and I don't know where your computer takes a shit and drops to 1 FPS for a second. Um, it's really annoying because, I mean, why the fuck did they need a whole month to release this game on PC when it is still broken, especially with performance? It feels like they just didn't do anything for that whole month. For strikes, even though they are fun to play through and feel epic, I feel that there are only four strikes in the game, and there actually probably are only four strikes in the game, which is absurd. For a AAA title, a full $60 game that has been in development for more than three years. Um, especially the strikes playlist, um, since there's probably only four strikes. It would be better if the playlist will alternate between the uh, strikes. But when I play the playlist, it's literally I play the same strike over and over. Um, Probably about three to four times before a new strike actually comes along and we go to the next one. And then when the new one comes, it, we either play that strike over and over three or four times or it switches back to the one that we have played uh, over and over, which is really annoying. Again, this is a triple A title that has hundreds of people working on it and it's cost a full $60. Why, they, why is it so hard to make more content for it? As for the story, even though it's actually a pretty good story, um, it just feels like a massive drag, uh, especially since I believe there's only like around 10 missions. Um, it Basically, you could clearly see where they put obstacles to make the story longer, so you could take longer to do it. Um, especially the one thing that I really hated, uh, it's not so bad in your first character, because yes, you're playing through the story, you really want to be engaged and stuff. Once you get to your second and third character, it's really a pain in the ass and it just feels like a waste of time. Since once you get to your second or third character, you're just really wanting to get to level 20 quickly. Uh, basically, at, all throughout the story, until you finish it at the end, uh, you don't have a spiral. Uh, one tip of advice that I would recommend is we figure out after we got all our characters to level 20 that you could just uh, on your main one once you unlock the tower you could go to Eva and basically buy a new uh, buy multiple spirals and put them in your vault when you create a new character and you unlock the farm you could actually go to the vault and get those spirals out and have them from the beginning I wish I knew that from the beginning uh, but the game doesn't doesn't clearly show you any point of it 
and it's just really annoying and it feels like a drag. It feels like it makes a story hours longer than it needs to be. As for the social space, don't even get me started with this one. It's one of the things I hate the most. Uh, mainly because I enjoyed what they did with the farm. I really enjoyed that social space. The it, it feels like a whole new space You where humanity lost at all. You're trying to survive. It's, you're basically living in the middle of the woods. Uh, you're basically in the European dead zone. Um, it just feels like a whole... You hit rock bottom, and it's an amazing looking space. Uh, then Bungie comes, you play through the story, finish the story, and spoiler alert, you get to unlock the tower, which, if you if you have paid attention, is like literally right next to the original tower. Um, it is a nice tower, and everything is big, uh, feels nice, and everything. But the main thing that I hate is the farm completely became useless like in the farm there's only a postmaster a crypt arch and then the eververse lady which is a microtransaction stuff that's it like the farm is the most useless thing there is right now once you complete the story i wish we still kept all the vendors and everything there so you have the tower or the farm but no it's now it's just all the tower the farm is literally useless now, for basically the last thing that could come to my mind that I hate the most, and this really, really, really gets light. Uh, like the saying goes, gets my blood boiling. Um, this is a full $60 game. This is a AAA. This is a developer that has hundreds, if not thousands, of people working on it, developing stuff for it. And we... People usually joke, oh, Call of Duty is just a copy-paste of each other. Destiny 2, there's literally, I will say, half the game, if in part, maybe even more than half of the game, is literally copy-pasted from Destiny 1. Um, when it comes to exotic weapons, like, half of them are literally the exact same weapon, like, literally the exact same one. No updated textures, no nothing new on it from Destiny 1. There are also, so far, I have seen one. There's probably even more maps. Uh, PvP maps. There's one map that is on Nessus here on uh, Destiny 2. It used to be on Venus on Destiny 1. But it's the exact same map. Like, the exact same layout. Exact same everything. Uh, which is really annoying. You're, you're paying $60 for this full game that has multiple people working on it. Like, hundreds or thousands of people working on it and you're copy pasting shit like come on the witcher only has like a few hundred people working on it it is a lower budget game uh, it is still a triple title a triple a title but it is like a million times bigger than destiny ever is uh, like how how does bungie do this type of shit like literally it's just a copy paste it, this is not really destiny 2 this is just destiny 1.5 with the pc release uh, at least on PC, it feels like a whole new game just because of the frame rate uh, and resolution. You're getting the higher resolutions on everything. And then 60 plus FPS. In conclusion, these are the main things that come to mind about this game on PC. Um, on this review, it might look like I hate the game. I really don't. I have been playing it since it released for basically the whole day. Um, Hell, you could even look at my YouTube channel. I live streamed this game for 10 hours. This, it, this is the game that I, this is the only game I have ever done that in. Um, so I have been having fun. I do have all three characters max level. Um, I'm trying to get their light up now. Um, I have done all the activities except the raid on the game. I'm looking for people to do the raid. Um, my friends and I created a clan if you want to join it. Link will be on the, on the description. I will also be putting my battle.net name on the description so you could add me. I'm basically trying to build a whole new community for myself and my friends and basically everybody else to have fun and play the game. So with that said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.